Radio. And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. What's up, everybody? Again, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts with a part two. You might have seen my part one video of the DV Mega on the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, kit that I purchased from gigaparts.com. And I made a video showing what a hotspot is. A lot of people are talking about dongles and hotspots. And this basically, without going into part one again, allows you to use your D Star radio on the network without being in range of a local repeater. Well now, this is part two, and now I have different software loaded on here that I can use other DMR handhelds like the KG D901 by Ushan, the uh, new Bofung DM5R and DM5R Plus, the Radiotity GD55, and some other ones coming that haven't got here yet that are brand new. So if you're interested in getting into DMR, but you don't have access to a repeater in your area, now you will. Not to a repeater, but to the, uh, the uh, network. This is going to run on the Brandmeister network. You can Google a lot of information on the Brandmeister. I'll show you some info right now on what it looks like in the GUI when I set it up and uh, how easy it is to get it running and some of the features of that image. So the image I'm about to show you is not what came with this when I purchased it from Gigaparts and showed in part one of the video. But um, I took the image that they sent me on that SD card, got another SD card, uh, took theirs out, popped mine in, did the uh, firmware or the image right to it, and got it up and rolling in, in almost no time. Text messaging does work, and uh, you can talk on any talk group, um, you know, that you can put in there. So um, let's check this out on the uh, computer. So I found a file that somebody had sent me for setting up the Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 with the DV Mega. This is the image I used, KB5RAB. Never met the man, woman, person, but uh, KB5RAB has an image. And um, if I could, I'll, put, I'll try to put this on my website if I can. And that way you can download it right from my website or I'll have a Dropbox or something. But basically with a Raspberry Pi and the DV Mega, You'll need three pieces of software, the SD formatter, you'll need the Win32 disk imager, and the KB5REB image, MMDVM host. And that's for use with DMR, DSTAR, DV4 mini, and includes MD380 tools for uh, firmware updates and such. Now, in this instruction manual, um, or, or the setup that you'll find, in fact, let me do this. Let's Google it. Let's Google KB5RAB MMDVM image. And uh, looks like the first one on, the, on his Facebook page is right here is the link. Okay. And uh, once you download that, uh, it comes with just the image. And you'll also have to get the Win32 disk imager. And the KB uh, and the uh, SD formatter. Now, after you go ahead and do all that, um, make sure you follow the instructions. And if again, if I have this on my website at that point, um, you can download this PDF here, and uh, uh, you can uh, follow the instructions here. But basically, what it tells you is that after you set up the SD card and stuff, um, there are a few things that you have to set up here. Um, as far as the call sign, the simplex frequency of the hotspot, your location, call sign here, your CCS7 number here for the uh, DMR ID. And uh, the server that's closest to you would be the best. Now, let me show you. I'm going to go in on my uh, VNC viewer. And uh, we will connect to this. Oh, try it again. Hmm. Oh, it's already open. Okay. Now, this is the new image I put on here. And when it starts up, you're going to have the IRC DDB gateway box running. 
but it won't be configured and neither will the DMR portion of this. But to show you what this looks like, um, this is it. It's got a GUI, it's a GUI, it's pretty similar to maybe what you're used to. The readme first text here will show you a good reference point. Uh, and here's his email for questions about the image. And the Brandmeister Talk Group 3148 on Facebook. So there's a lot of info you can find from what I hear on that uh, Facebook group. Um, this MMDVM host has DMR and DSTAR enabled. Now it does show options in there for P25 and Fusion, but I haven't got that far yet. Maybe that'll be part three. Um, so one important thing, all desktop shortcuts moved into the ham radio desktop shortcuts folder, which is here. All right. And um, some other info on here that you can read through for DV4 Mini and such. All right. So it's a good uh, reference point to get this thing up and rolling. But to sum it up, going into this folder here is your uh, desktop shortcuts. If you open that and there's nothing here, close it and open it again. seems like it's a glitch where it shows nothing in there. But uh, some of the main things you'll need, your gateway config for uh, I, uh, DSTAR, your IRC DDB gateway, your MMDVM INI file. This is what you have to edit, put your call sign in and such. Um, notice these here, start and stop. You always want to stop the service and close the IRC DDB gateway before you modify um, any changes or else they won't go through. So to modify the main INI file to put your info in there, you want to stop the service, okay, close this, and make sure that it's stopped. Now, when you open the INI file, this is what was showing you in the instructions on what to do. You know, your call sign needs to be updated to yours. Your frequency for the hotspot needs to be the same receive and transmit frequency like a simplex. Uh, location, description, URL for your QRZ database with your call sign. Um, go down here to uh, DMR ID. Lines 311-2887. So you want to put yours in there. And um, a lot of other features, but really I haven't played with any of those to get it working. Um, so that should be it to save that. And once you save it, you have to reboot. Once you reboot, it should fire up on the DMR side and get that rocking and rolling. Now from my understanding, once you get the DMR side going, you have to quick PTT into it to, is what somebody pretty much said you have to PTT into the hotspot for a half a second to get that thing to link up or else I guess it goes dormant or times out. Now at the same time your gateway config for I uh, for uh, D star all right and here is your gateway config and that looks familiar to my part one video with the gateway your call sign you have to put in um, repeater one for the reflector you want to connect to the frequency of your hotspot, so I'm using VHF for D-Star, UHF for DMR, and uh, other things here, your IRC DDB enabled, call sign for username, you know, the stuff here that I mentioned in video one that will uh, be almost identical. Um, D plus enabled, login, call sign, all right. Once you get that going, that'll be for your D-Star, and again, you have to stop the service, uh, make sure it's closed, that the IRD, IRC DDB gateway is closed, Make your config changes, restart the unit. And once you restart it, uh, it'll come up with this here, and it'll start um, showing the log here. It'll show not linked, and it'll show connected and do all that. So when you first start this up, it takes a good minute or so before you get everything connected. Um, now, to close this, well, I'll leave it open, and we'll start the service. running okay now one cool thing uh, first off if you go over here to your Wi-Fi icon or if you're connected to Ethernet you'll notice your WLAN 0 has an IP address locally you want to take that IP address mine is 10.0.0.247 port 24 slash 24 ignore the 24 and just go over here to your web browser right here and enter like you would log into a modem at your house. You're going to log into this with your IP address. And that's going to pull up the dashboard. And the dashboard um, shows stats and uh, system info on your device. Um, 
tabs up here for Brandmeister, Reboot System and stuff. Um, but basically, let me go back here. Okay, so in here, what I want to see is that the D star is linked to reflector 037, Charlie. Um, the DMR um, talk group 3112, reflector not linked, but you can see here the uh, a recent list of, you know, the traffic. Here was me when I transmitted into it, testing on D star, and then uh, somebody on DMR, and here was me testing on DMR, then I was talking in the gym. So both of them are running at the same time. In fact, let's see if Jim's out there. I'll hit the button. And see, it shows you right on there what I just transmitted. Right here. Let's see. KB4OVL from KJ4YZI. Let's see if Jim's on there. Probably not. But uh, so once you program your radio to different talk groups in the radio, um, you're switching, you're not having to change anything in here. You can just edit the talk groups, have, you know, a zone with different statewide, regional, uh, worldwide and stuff, and transmit into your hotspot here. And uh, the same goes with the D Star. D Star works the same as it did in my previous video um, with my ID51 uh, or any D Star radio uh, with the proper settings. And uh, so there you have it. There you go. Today's local transmissions. It shows me when I was uh, different talk groups. So, um, very cool. Like I said, I'll try to have the um, the file, the PDF file, either on my Facebook or my uh, website. So that way, if you need to find it. But you can Google it. KB5 RAB, uh, the KB5 RAB image, and get this working on DMR. We were working with uh, text messaging last night on here. That did successfully work between uh, my Ushan KGD901 DMR and Jim's uh, MD390. So uh, text does work, and uh, there you have it. Part two and uh, part three, we'll, go, we'll try to get Fusion going on here, and then we'll elaborate more on how I got that working. So thanks for watching. Uh, again, you can check out, you can purchase this kit that I got this DV Mega and Raspberry Pi from gigaparts.com. That's where I had gotten this uh, for part one. And as always, you can go there and check them out. The link is in the description. Check out my Facebook, the YouTube, and uh, the website. Like, share, thumbs up, and more on the way. Subscribe. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.